numero uno of the masterclass with the legend that is Claude Harmon. What are we doing today? Well, we are getting your swing sorted out. Could take some work, but let's give it a crack, shall we? Yeah, let's crack on. I love my golf. I love it so, so much, but I want to get better. Um, and my golf swing isn't the best. Please, sir, uh, help me. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's see what we've got. See what we're working with. Well, so we've gone from a favorite club, seven. Seven iron, but that, perfect. That was, that, you said that, didn't you? Not seven me, iron, please. definitely my favorite club. Slappy. Yeah, so, I mean. Slapsville, Tennessee. Here's the thing. Most golfers, I think, are obsessed with the direction the golf ball's going, right? It does the, help, though, doesn't it? Yeah, they're obsessed with the direction. Yeah. But in your case, I think one of the things that, isn't consistent is the quality of the strike, right? So I think if we can improve the contact and how you're contacting the ball, it's going to make it easier for you to hit it more solid. So if you look at impact, if you look yeah. into that camera, the reason the golf ball is going left, actually it's easier from this angle. I mean, that's so obvious why it's going left. Look at the face. Oh my God. So the face. Oh Jesus. Is pointing in that direction. So you start with the face square, and then at impact, it's pointing that way. That's why the ball goes in the direction it's going. Oh my God. Do you know what? Seeing it like that, I mean, that's a great view, isn't it? It's yeah. a great view, but it's not, a good, it's not good viewing. Take your address position, no ball, okay? And instead of the feet kind of splaying out this way, Let's square your feet up and get oh, them okay. a little bit more that way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Take your address position. No ball. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this shaft right here. Okay. Yeah. And what I want you to do is I want you to make a practice swing and I want you to feel like you're hitting the ground. Don't hit that shaft. Okay. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Yeah. Don't hit the shaft. Hit the ground. Oh, Christ. Good, again. Good, again. Good. So basically what we're going to try and get you to do is feel like you're making an exaggerated chip shot, okay? okay. Yeah. So you're just gonna feel like you're going waist high back, waist high through. Waist high back. Okay, don't hit that shaft coming down. You're trying to hit this 15, 20 yards in the air. Nothing fancy. Just small. Just a small swing. Small control what the face is doing. Do it again. That went the best. It's all right. And much shorter than that. Doesn't have to be so long, like a chip shot. Why am I doing that? So make sure that the am I club. Must standing too far away. No. Make no. sure the club hits the ground. Get the club to hit the ground. There you go. That was better. Right. That one didn't go so far to the left, right? No. Okay. So watch the difference in what the club face is doing. So uh, not as much. Look at how much the club face is closing. Where that's a lot square. Yeah. So. We're just getting the face in a square position and getting you to feel like you're controlling it a lot better. Still wants to shut down a little bit. Yeah. So if we can start to get the feeling, see how that elbow position is kind of buckled up like that, a little bit of that chicken wing? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna try and get you to do is feel like the arms are working better through impact. So you now have a triangle formed by your left hand, left arm, left arm, right hand. Keep a hold of this. Yeah. Through impact, you're trying to feel like you finish more like this right. to where all of this is still intact. You haven't gone back. Right, so it's and straight arm. That way. So just straight arms that way. Right. So let's make a couple of practice swings where we're just trying to go waist high back, Waist tie through and keep the arms straight. Good. Do it again. A little shorter follow through. 
Good. Make sure you hit the ground. All right. Good. Hit the ground. Good. Do that again. Good. One more. Good. Do that exact same motion with the golf ball. That same speed, that same length, that same follow through. Nice and smooth. Simple. But again, the follow-through got a little bit too long. Keep that follow-through nice and short. Better. Shorter the follow-through, though. This is basically like you're hitting a chip shot. So we're just trying to get you to feel like you're controlling this a little bit better. And as you come through, follow-through is going to feel like it's just there. Right. That's as far as you need to go. Nice and smooth. Simple. Better. Good. Wow. Do it again. That was better. So the triangle that you have formed here just basically stays intact back and it stays intact through. Nice and smooth on the follow through. Better. Now we're starting wow. to get a little bit more control over the golf club. Keep doing that. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> Simple. Nothing fancy. Don't have to hit it too far. Way more solid, right? Yeah. Look at the difference in the club face. That's it's completely different, yeah. isn't it? So if we go top down, look at the face. It's completely different. So now that club face is pointing over here. And look at how the club face is pointing there. So definitely square. Borderline a little on the open side, but not. Let's look at the face. Completely different. Yeah, way different. And that's just you starting to get a little bit more control over what the golf club's doing. Yeah. So the face of the golf club, thinking about where the face of the golf club is. Again, this is basically just a long chip shot, right? So take your address position. Straight legs, not out to the side. Yes. Keep a Triangle. hold of this, and yeah. as you come through, trying to feel like you're there, not all of that. So okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and smooth. Yeah, just basically an exaggerated chip shot. Nice and smooth. Simple. Don't have to hit it too far. Waist high back, waist high through. Way more solid, right? Yeah. Sounds like a bad connection every yeah, time. Yeah, and the, the quality of the contact and the quality of the strike was better. I think a lot of times tubes in golf were swinging so hard and so fast that to use a car analogy, you're just basically driving the car too fast and you don't really have control over the car. So basically you just keep crashing the car. What we're doing here is making the golf swing a lot more solid and just you starting to get better contact, better control over what the club face is doing. But as you get better contact and as you get better control, you hit the golf ball more solid. And if you can hit the golf ball more solid, then you can start to control what the golf club is doing, control what your body's doing. Right. But we just need you to think, okay, let me just make my entire movement pattern smaller. So when you go to the range, this is a great way for you to warm up. You're just basically hitting some warm up shots to where you just go through. And basically you're just trying to think of the club face as an extension of what your hand we're doing. We're not trying to feel like we shut the door this way. We're just basically trying to feel like we go through and we go that way. So if you think about where the club face is, right? So what we're trying to do through impact is feel like the club is coming through more this way instead of feeling like the club is closing down that way. So more or less sort of like a swing like that? Yeah. So when you set up, take your address position, okay? No ball. Yeah. That was an interesting one as well. Why did you say to go legs straight? I think straight? because you just kind of get sloppy and lazy with your stance and it doesn't really, okay. you know, it's not really athletic. Right. Okay, so take that setup. So I was told by people, not like people of your caliber, but they were saying if you do that, you could get more movement coming around. You Is can, yeah. but for right now, let's just get your feet in a pretty neutral position right. and just focus on you just getting a good quality of strike. Cool. Okay, yeah. so keep a hold of it. Okay, so as you come through, this triangle 
stays. never breaks down. So here the triangle would be the same as it, as was, it was at address, right? So we're trying to come back to here, and then we're trying to go through to there. Nothing really happening okay. with our hand action. Yeah. We're just basically trying to get you to control this by controlling a little bit of what the hands are doing. A little small one, a little half one, nice and smooth, simple. Doesn't have to be big. Keep the triangle intact back, keep the triangle intact through. Better? Do it again. Sounds different, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, the quality better. of the strike's a little different. Okay, nice and smooth, simple. Back, good, again. Make sure the club hits the ground, okay? That's really important. Make sure the club gets back is, to Is it not because I'm lifting my head Yeah, because you're coming up to okay. try and get so the ball like... in the air. Okay. So feel like the club's going to crash into the ground. Way different. Jesus Christ. That's, notice that's a completely different sound. Completely different. Okay. So what happens when we have an iron, okay, the golf ball is on the ground, right? So imagine the surface is flat, right? Yeah. So when you hit the ball with an iron, we need the club to come down, not up. Because if the club's working up, you're either going to hit the ground behind the ball or you're going to catch the middle of the ball and it's not going to be solid. That time, you felt like you tried to get the club to work more down. Yes. Because the ball is on the ground, we need the club to work down. We don't want the club to work up. The club swinging up works great with a driver because yeah. it's on a tee. Yeah. But if it's on the ground, this is why you don't take divots. This is why you never no, take a never, divot. Yeah. And if you do take a divot, you take a divot behind the ball because the arc is bottoming out behind the ball. That last one, you felt like you really hit down on it. Yeah. And as you hit down on it, it's the most solid one you've hit. Do by, that again. That was really good on the last one. By a million miles. Yeah. The sound was different, yeah. right? And if we can get you to have that different sound and different contact, then we're going to be able to hit it more solid. Better. Good. Do that again. So triangle, think about, triangle, okay, so triangle. you're trying to get the club back to the position it started in, back to the ground. Better. Let's do that again. So now we're starting to catch more ground and not so much ball. And we'll take that. Triangle, triangle. Nice and smooth. Simple. Oh, geez. There it is. Completely different quality of contact. Do you know what I find so, so interesting, like, and since me and Big Andrew have been with you, is you just make small changes, like really small changes. It's not like do this, change your grip, da 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 da. It's just like, and just like instantly you're going, right, that makes sense. And then, do you know what I mean? And then you just, of course you know what I mean, you're probably one of the best coaches in the world, but <laughs> I just think it's amazing. So look at the ball speed. Okay, see this number here? Ball speed. Right, see the yeah, one down 83. at the bottom? 83.9. 83.9. Yeah. That's how fast the golf club is contacting the ball, and that's how fast the ball is coming off the club face, right? Right. 83 miles an hour. The last ball you just hit, oh my, 109. So because we catch the golf ball more in the center of the face, the ball speed jumps from the low 80s to almost 110 miles per hour. Jesus. So the ball goes further because you're catching it more in the center of the face. The most important thing and the easiest way for you to improve your golf is for the quality of the contact to become consistent. Not the shape, not the direction, the quality of the strike, how you connect with the club and the ball. If that can be consistent, cleaner, and what you said was the sound is different. Yeah. Well, the sound is different because we're not hitting the ground behind the ball and we're not catching the top of the ball, we're actually returning the club back to where we started, and that's what's making the golf ball go into the air. So contact is far more important for someone like you, Tubes, than direction. Okay, come back over here. Come stand back here and you can check this out. This will be easy for you. Okay. So, 
first part of your golf swing is going to be everything below your waist. Okay? That's yeah. your lower body. Yeah. Second part of your golf swing is going to be everything above your waist, excluding your arms. So that's your stomach, your chest, your head, your neck. Then we've got what we talked about, our triangle. It's the third part of the golf swing. So you've got your triangle, right arm, right hand, left arm, left hand. And then the last part of the golf swing is the golf club. Four parts to the golf swing. So you've got yellow, which is your lower body, red, which is your upper body, blue, which is your triangle, green, which is the golf club. Most golfers are really, really good at using blue and green. They use a lot of their hands, they use a lot of their arms, and they don't use their big muscles. So when you're trying to keep this triangle intact, so now you come back into impact, and the triangle's back intact. Yeah. That's impact, okay? You have a dress, okay? So you have your address position, and you have your impact position. Address, impact. So if we draw a line up and show you what you're doing, Address, impact. See how your hips have moved towards that line? Yeah. Triangle's still intact. Triangle's still intact. Triangle's still intact. That elbow hasn't flared out and yeah. gone that way. And as a result of what we're doing here, the club face stays very, very square throughout the golf swing. So you're trying to feel like you've got a steering wheel in your hands, right? So you're trying to feel like you've got a steering wheel in your hands. What you're trying to do is not steer the wheel, right? So if I give you, yeah, here. Hold that. Yeah. Hands on either side, okay? Set up, waist tie back, waist tie through, don't steer, come through, don't steer the wheel. Don't, don't move go that it. way, yep. Waist tie back, waist tie through. What's moving more now? My hips. And your chest, so, so everything. lower body and upper body are moving a lot. Yeah. This isn't doing too much, right? Yeah. Okay, do that again. Waist tie back, waist tie through. Nothing's happened here. You're moving lower body and upper body. You're not doing this. Yeah. What you do in your golf swing is this. Right. Because you're using a lot of hands and golf club. You're not using your body. What you're doing when you get this in here is you go. It's the same feeling. Don't steer the, don't steer the wheel. Yeah. And this would never no. go that way. Right? Yeah. So you're just basically using your triangle. And what's controlling this is this and this. And that is my swing sorted. Yeah. I'm going straight out into your lovely range. Okay. So have a go. Good. Oh. Listen, I've helped two players to get to number one in the world, and I've been a part of seven major championships, right? Yeah. The fact that I just got you to get the golf ball airborne could be more exciting for me <laughs> and more kind of a, a feather in my cap than, you know, all the majors. Lord Harmon, thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm just buzzing. Please like, subscribe to all that. If he was a dinosaur, he'd be a freshosaurus. <laughs>